हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम ऑन सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन अंडर इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स टुडे वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर सिक्स In our problem, in a lifting machine, an effort of hundred newton lift a load of two five zero zero newton, two thousand five hundred newton, and an effort of 130 newton lift a load of 4000 newton first time effort applied 100 newton load lifted 200 2500 newton second time Effort applied, hundred thirty newton. Load lifted, four thousand newton. Okay. Now, established the law of the machine. Means find out the law of the machine and calculate the effort required. To lift a load of six thousand newton. From this law, find out. Calculate means find out effort required. Amount of effort required to lift a load of six thousand newton. What is the maximum efficiency we also find out what is the maximum efficiency given assume vr velocity ratio of the machine is 75 okay now given first time when w equal to w means load lifted equal to 2500 2500 newton then effort applied effort applied p equal to 100 newton in second case when load lifted Load lifted four thousand newton. Then effort applied P equal to hundred thirty newton. Okay. Now we find out the law of machine. law of machine means what is the law of machine the relation between load lifted and effort applied is called the law of machine law of machines means relation between load lifted and effort applied we know law of a machine is p equal to mw plus c P equal to effort applied equal to m w plus c w equal to load lifted here m and c are two constant m equal to a constant called coefficient of friction. 
m is a constant called coefficient of friction c is another constant called machine friction c is another constant called machine friction so law of a machine is p equal to m w plus c p equal to a for applied equal to m equal to a constant called coefficient of friction w equal to load lifted plus c c equal to another constant called machine friction okay now we put in this equation the first value in first case w equal to 2500 newton p equal to 100 newton therefore in first case p equal to 100 and m m is constant into w equal to 2500 okay plus c equal to constant again in second case when w equal to 4000 newton and p equal to 130 newton then we put the value in equation law of of a machine p equal to m w plus c p equal to 130 m equal to constant w equal to in this case 4000 newton plus c equal to constant two equation form okay now solve two equation we get m equal to 1 by 50 and c equal to 50 okay value of m m is a, is a constant called coefficient of friction m equal to 1 by 50 and c equal to c is another constant called machine friction c equal to 50 so the law of the law of machine is we just put the value of m and c p equal to value of m equal to 1 by 50 w plus value of c equal to 50 so the law of the machine p equal to 1 by 50 w plus 50 this is the answer hmm. calculate the effort required to lift a load 600 newton now we calculate the effort required to lift a load of 600 newton from this equation after solving the law of machine we calculate the effort required to lift a load of 6000 newton now effort required to lift a load of 6000 newton here w equal to 6000 newton okay m we find out m equal to 1 by 50 c equal to 50 okay now we know law of machine p equal to mw plus c law of the machine p equal to mw plus c value of m equal to 1 by 50 value of w equal to 6000 okay plus value of c constant equal to 50 equal to 170 newton so the effort 100 170 newton newton is required to lift a load of 600 newton okay now we find out 
what is the maximum efficiency now we find out what is the maximum efficiency we know efficiency equal to ma by vr we know efficiency of is the ma by vr again we know maximum ma maximum ma equal to 1 by m so maximum efficiency formula of maximum efficiency eta max equal to 1 by m into vr 1 by m into vr value of m equal to 1 by 50 value of m equal to 1 by 50 into 75 efficiency always we find out in percentage 100 it is also 100 so after calculation maximum efficiency equal to 66.7 percent okay it is our answer in our problem what is the maximum efficiency our maximum efficiency maximum efficiency eta max equal to 66.7 percent okay it is clear my student thank you